hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is lola and today is vlogmas day 10 yes i'm going to be showing you how to make one of my favorite things to eat is chili cheese fries if you've never made this you definitely want to make this it's easy to make it just involves a few components so we're going to make the chili first and these are the ingredients we're using so i have some ground beef some canned beans i'm using kidney beans you can use any canned beans you have black beans garbanzo beans and then i have some um big beans and corn from the last time we had um you know from breakfast so i just i'm just going to add that and then i have green pepper and then i have some onion i don't know why i'm taking time to put up the ingredients but yeah i have some onion chopped up and then i have my ginger garlic paste usually it's just garlic used but because i have the paste I, i'll just use that and then you need some tomato paste and here i have um spring onions and coriander leaves or um, cilantro leaves for garnish this is just for garnish and i have my spices here very important cumin um, black pepper and onion powder curry salt coriander powder oregano chili powder and some bouillon cubes now cumin and coriander very very important in this chili if you have paprika you can also add that um, i didn't have any so you can also add some tomato sauce the canned ones but i didn't have any so i decided to sort of make one myself and what i just do is i boil the tomatoes in water just put them whole in water boil them until the skins can come off like that so i go ahead and i'm just showing you i'm done for most go ahead and take the skin off and i do that for the last one so so you see how easily the skin comes off if your tomatoes are well boiled the skin will come off easily if not then the skin will be hard to come off so um i'm gonna go ahead and mash this up so just take off any of the you know those um dark parts and just mash the tomatoes up you're, you're trying to have like a coarse tomato sauce or you can use the diced tomatoes in the can or you know the plum tomatoes in the can that's what this is basically so we're going to go ahead and start making our chili and in my pot here i'm going to add some oil and then i'm going to go in with my ground beef and immediately you put that in you have to use your wooden spoon to try to break that up trying to get that tiny little bit of beef <laughs> so make sure you immediately start breaking the beef up you don't want it to be in chunks you want it to be in, you know in as tiny bits as possible so go ahead and break this up so why is this called a chili it's because this is usually eaten in the u.s or you know in other parts of the world during the winter and it makes you warm you know so i guess when it's chilly outside you have a chili to keep you warm something like that anyways you can see how i have broken up the beef and most of it has started turning brown and then i go in with my onion and my ginger garlic paste and just keep frying you want that to fry in the oil with beef until the onions are translucent at this point and then we're going with our tomato paste first i was being conservative but then it ended up using the whole sachet of tomato paste because tomato sauce that i made was um, very small so i decided to just use the entire tomato paste so we're going with our spices and allow that to fry up with the tomato paste and everything else and just doing this intensifies flavor of everything and you see your beef and everything starts to come together nicely and color 
turns into dark. Your house is filled with delicious spice smells and yeah, just keep frying and then we go on with our go in with our tomato sauce. Typically you use more than that, but because I use um I added more to the tomato paste so it's fine. And then I go in with my green pepper and just let that fry up a bit before we add some liquid. Oh, before we add our beans, I mean. Now I'm adding some water. I just rinsed out the bowl that had the baked beans and corn. I'm going to add a little bit more and you're going to let this cook down for about 30 to 45 minutes. The longer it cooks, the more intense the flavors become. And so this was about 30 minutes after. I still wanted it to go a little bit further to reduce the liquid in there, but guess what? My gas finished so like the cooking gas <laughs> finished so i had to stop at this point so yeah for me my chili was ready it's actually ready at this point but like i said the longer it cooks the more the flavors intensify so i'm gonna go ahead and make a burger sauce or you know a sauce to go with my chili fries and i just added some mayo ketchup, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, honey, um, Caesar dressing, and some pepper and onion powder. Now this you can make to your liking. This is not really a recipe. I'm just showing you what I added to mine. So this is our ingredients to compile or Put our chili fries together everything is ready we have our fries we have our cheese we have our sauce we have our chili so we're just going to basically build it up so we'll go with the fries and then the chili some sauce then the cheese and then I put this in the microwave to help the cheese melt because um, my gas finished like I said so I didn't turn the camera on when I was adding all my toppings but what I added was um, the green onion, the cilantro or the coriander and then I have this um, sour cream topping I just added that to the center of it and that's it that is it so delicious you guys definitely try this you can have your chili with rice or potatoes but I love to have chili fries like this chili cheese fries very delicious thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed my video please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye